I'm Kenan, and I work at Aspen Mesh. I'm a backend engineer, and today I'm going to talk to you about TLS origination best practices. So who am I? I am a contributor to open source Istio for close to a year. I am a current release manager on Istio 1.12, and I worked on introducing an environment variable verify certificate at client. So let's talk about TLS origination security. Istio is designed to be as flexible as possible, but this does come at some costs. One of these costs have to be configuring a destination rule. There's three main things about this. One, the certificate is not verified against the certificate authority starting out. Two, the certificate SAN DNS name of the host is not verified. And three, the SNI isn't sent to the intended server. These each have a different impact, and we're going to be discussing those as we go. Let's talk about the certificate authority certificate bundle. You need to specify the certificate authority certificate bundle in order to validate your certificates against. So an example below is self-signed. Another example would be untrusted root. And these are both examples of what would happen with a possible man in the middle attack. Most operating systems have a built-in certificate authority certificate bundle to use. So please use that or load in your own if you feel comfortable with that. So now let's talk about subject alt names. This is who the certificate is issued to, so the host name. You must have the certificate authority specified, so the CA certificate field must be filled in. If it is not, you can't use any subject alt names. An example below shows that it would this negates the wrong host being used. And to emphasize this, certificate authority is not good enough because someone who is not the host of the certificate can serve it it will be validated against through the certificate authority, and it will be greenlit. It doesn't matter that the host does not match who presented it. So now for server name indication. This is not strictly security, but this is a best practice, in my opinion. This is who you want to talk to regarding the host name. So in the example below, you have badassil.com, which I have not indicated before, but you must include the SNI. If you do not, then it will only give you the baddestcell.com certificate, and you do not get any of the subdomains. To indicate that you want to talk to those, you must include the SNI. Now for service entry behavior, you may notice that there is a subject alt name field that you could use. It's important to note that the destination rule will override any service entry SAN field that's used. So if you have, if you have anything specified within the destination rule, none of the SAN within the service entry will be used. Now you may recall from earlier that you must have a certificate authority for SAN to be used. This also includes service entry SAN fields. To make this process easier, we introduced an environment variable, verify certificate at client. It was introduced in Istio version 1.12 and will automatically go through the list below in order to find the first certificate authority bundle that is detected in the operating system and use that. Of course, this can be overwritten within your destination rule. So you could specify a different one and circumvent this if needed. An important note about verify certificate at client is that it only works for simple and mutual TLS mode. It will not work for Istio mutual. Attached is a link to the environment variable list so you can go and find more information yourself if you do choose to. An example below is how it looks in a destination rule without the CA certificate needing to be specified. Since environment variables aren't the most obvious things to set, I just wanted to touch on how to set verify certificate client. All you need to do is go into your home YAML file, put in your environment variable as listed below, and then do a Helm upgrade. So how do you test and make sure this is working properly? Of course, use a host that you trust. We're using badassl.com. And the three most important to check against are untrusted root certificates, self-signed certificates, and certificates that have a different host name. You want to make sure that you no longer get accepted traffic and you see, you see certificate validation failing. This is not easy enough for the user. We want to improve out-of-the-box security and make it as security for default settings. Fasila, who is a open source contributor to Istio, is trying to improve verify certificate client to include auto SAN and auto SNI. 
If these changes or other improvements to security or ease of use for users is of interest to you, please consider contributing to Open Source Istio. Thank you for your time. Please enjoy the rest of IstioCon.